Speaking for myself, I think I can say that although I tried, I am in no way every father's dream for what a perfect son is supposed to be. No. And my face, or my accomplishments, they'll probably never grace the minds of everyone in the world. And that's all right with me. But I would hope that if anyone was to look at me, or if anyone was to look at my sister, or my brothers, they would say, you've sure got your father's eyes. Why? Well, my father's eyes always found the good in things. Even when good was just not around. My father's eyes were always attentive and always smiling. When attention and smiles just couldn't be found. My father's eyes always spoke the truth. When the truth was just hard to find. My father's eyes were only for his wife and for no other. My father's eyes. My father's eyes. You know, someday, when the one that left us here on this good earth returns for us at last, and I am called to stand in front of my Creator to ask what He saw in me, more than anything, I want to hear the words, You have your Father's eyes. For you see, not only is my Father in my eyes, He's in my voice, my heart, my soul, my hands, my pride, my mannerisms. It's funny, but lately I've noticed that I do the same things my father used to. I even find myself acting the very same way, whistling to the birds, greeting women in that oh-so-familiar, hello, young lady, salutation. Heck, sometimes I even answer the phone in the Vetoish, yeah. Joanne, Don, Vic, John, our father will never be gone from us because whenever we look in the mirror, we will see our father's eyes. After all, we are his reflection. If I close my eyes, I can picture my father seated in his family room chair, either caressing his grandchildren or just sitting quietly, listening to his Mexican music as the birds in the backyard gathered in the trees to partake in his private concert. Those trees never seem so full because of my father. And honestly, if it were earthly possible, I would sit next to him in his chair and listen to Mexican music, playing a song that would never, ever end. Let me close by saying that my father loved my mother faithfully, with no secrets between them for 66 plus years. Can you imagine? Well, they could. My father did the best that he could for my brother's sister and family. Hopefully, our children will see a little more of our father in us and everything we did for them. And should someone ever come to me and tell me that they had wished they had met my father, I will smile and say, You already have.